Hello, my name is Cristina Colombo. I'm a product manager at Cavo, and today I would like to present you in our Cavo studio our newest innovation, the simulation unit Cavo DSA Clinical E50 Live. Using DSA Clinical E50 Live, students already learn in the preclinics to use the original components of a treatment unit and do not need to adapt to a different workflow later in the clinics. DSE Clinical E50 Live can be configured with a TM table with hanging instrument tubes as well as with an S table with swing or whip arm system. Both units can be fitted with five or six instruments. It is also possible to go from five to six instruments at a later date. For the dentist's unit, one syringe up to four rotating instruments and an optional intraoral camera can be selected. The E50 Live TM table features an integrated control panel with a display and direct dialing keys. Hence, the students can easily and quickly check, modify and, if necessary, save instrument parameters. This dentist's unit has been equipped with a ErgoCam 1 intraoral camera, a Piezosoft scaler, a multifunction syringe, two electric motors and a turbine. With the TM table, the dentist's and assistant's unit can quickly and without the use of tools be repositioned from right to left and vice versa. In order to do so, the patient simulator has to be placed in the lowest position. Depending on the treatment position, the height and location of the TM table can be adjusted to the most ergonomic position. The E50 Life S table features a control panel with display and direct dialing keys that can be attached on either the right or the left side. The dentist unit is delivered with a handle as a standard feature. An additional handle or other sterilizable handles can be ordered as optional extras. This dentist unit has been equipped with a syringe, a turbine, a Poly-1 polymerization handpiece, a Piezosoft scaler and an electric motor. The swing or whip arm tubes on the dentist unit can be fitted with or without the two-step locking function. Furthermore, a polymerization handpiece can be selected on the S table if, for example, the optional assistance unit is not selected. Depending on the treatment position and the user's concept, the height and position of the S-table can be adjusted to the most ergonomic position. In this regard, positions from 9 to 11 o'clock as well as the 12 o'clock position are possible. Within a few seconds and without the use of tools, the S-table can also be repositioned from right to left and vice versa. For the assistant, the DSE Clinical E50 Life offers the user a choice of three options. With option one, the spray aspirator and the saliva ejector can be placed on the suction hose holder. The suction hose holder can be swiveled in three steps, offering an optimal solution for the suspension of the suction hoses when working with both hands in locations where space is limited. The standard assistance unit can be configured with or without height adjustment. The suction hoses and, as options, the second syringe and the polymerization handpiece fit there. The assistance unit, the height of which can be adjusted, offers additional comfort since its height can be set in three steps. The optional selective support kit can be chosen by the assistant. It turns the saliva ejector and or the spray mist suction on separately, depending upon what is taken from the bracket. Alternatively, the slide valve on the saliva ejector or the spray mist suction can be closed. 
VacuStop is a further optional function on the assistance unit. It turns off the suction flow on both suction hoses. Then, for example, the spray mist suction on the face mask can be connected without suction flow. In order to reactivate the suction, the bell button on the dentist's unit has to be pressed. The suction flow is then switched on again. With the pneumatic version, the patient simulator can be unlocked pneumatically for a few seconds by pressing the bowl rinsing button on the dentist's unit. In this way, the height and angle of the patient simulator can be adjusted. Once the unlock time is over, the brake is activated and the position of the patient simulator is secured. With the optional electric height adjustment kit, the backrest, including the patient simulator, can be adjusted continuously or automatically, like on a treatment unit, over the six automatic positions. The continuous adjustment is performed manually using the buttons on the dentist unit, the assistance unit or the foot control. When positioning the patient using the lateral swivel, the patient simulator can be swiveled 45 degrees to the left or the right of the middle position. This is advantageous, especially where space is limited. In this manner, the students can access the simulator more easily from the side. The patient's head can also be moved and secured in the desired position. For this purpose, the lateral screw can be slightly loosened so that the fixed position is released. For treatment of the upper jaw, the headrest and the head can be hyperextended. In this way, the students benefit from a better view of the upper jaw. In accordance with specific customer requirements, all Cavo jaw simulators are compatible with DSE Clinical E50 Life. For instance, the G40J jaw simulator is currently mounted on this simulation unit. We are now dismantling the patient head and changing the jaw simulator to the G40JM with magnetic fixation. For the dismantling of the jaw simulator, the button on the left temple has to be pressed, following which the jaw simulator is removed vertically and upwards. The screw connection is then loosened and the plate removed. The face mask can subsequently be exchanged. At this point, the dental model can also be replaced. All Cavo dental models can be mounted on the jaw simulator. Full dentition, partial dentition, antiperiodontology, surgery and children's teeth models are all possible. Cavo offers a wide range of face masks with small, large and oversized mouth openings. In addition, some face masks have a connection to the spray mist suction, so that the students can also work alone with the spray water in the face mask being aspirated automatically. The third hand can be secured universally to the head of all CAVO patient simulators, thereby facilitating the aspiration of accumulating spray water more easily in cases of two-handed treatment. The freely positionable third hand holds the spray mist suction in the desired position, thereby enabling optimal treatment. Two foot control options are available to users. The standard foot control enables, on the one hand, the control of the instruments and, on the other hand, additional functions such as the changing of the direction of the motor rotation, the spray preselection and the positioning of the patient simulator during the electric height adjustment. With the premium foot control, 
you can easily operate all functions and integrated devices of your DSE Clinical E50 Life with your food. Furthermore, a centric system is available with the comfortable premium food control. Thus, valuable time can be saved and workflow interruptions avoided. At the end of the treatment day, both foot controls can be hooked onto the appropriate park position on the unit. Likewise, in the selection of the treatment lights, the DSE Clinical E50 Live user has two options to choose from. The Cavolux 540 LED can be operated contact-free and thereby very hygienically via the sensor or the intuitive dentist or assistance unit. The Kaivolox 540 LED provides perfect sanitary conditions, the highest quality, a long working life and maximum treatment comfort. The Maya treatment light offers LED lighting of daylight quality. The luminosity is adjustable continuously to a maximum of 35,000 lux. It can be dimmed continuously with no change in color temperature, which remains constant at 5000 Kelvin. In addition, the handles of the lights are removable and sterilizable. DSE Clinical E50 Life offers an optional automatic cable hygiene system that ensures optimal processing of the simulation units in accordance with the standards of the Robert Koch Institute. With the Cavo Hygiene concept, the students learn right from the start the importance of protecting their own health as well as that of their future colleagues and patients. The Hygiene System Kit consists of two main components. The Hygiene Cabinet and the hygiene unit, which, in order to save space, is located in a separate cabinet and is quickly accessible when needed. The DVGW, German Technical and Scientific Association for Gas and Water Approved Water Block, the Oxygenal 6 and Decaceptol gel bottles are located in the hygiene cabinet. The permanent germ reduction with Oxygenal 6 prevents the emergence of algae and germs in all water-carrying lines. The Decaceptol gel purifies and disinfects the suction hoses and prevents the formation of deposits in the suction system and in the outflow. The intensive germ reduction counteracts the formation of microorganisms which occurs primarily during times of water stagnation such as over the weekend or during a semester break. The hygiene unit is integrated in the worktop and can, when necessary, be removed and thermally disinfected. For germ reduction, the instrument and suction hoses are easily plugged into the hygiene unit. A couple of points have to be taken into consideration with respect to the preparation of the instruments and the suction hoses for the intensive germ reduction. The dentist and the assistance unit has to be positioned close to the hygiene unit so that the instrument and suction hoses can be plugged in easily and over a short distance, such that they are not under tension. For intensive germ reduction, the TM table is positioned on the right side. When everything is in position as described, the intensive germ reduction can be started. 
The S table is positioned in the middle, above the patient simulator, in direction of the hygiene unit, and the latchable whip arms are locked in the furthest forward position. The assistance unit suction hoses are placed over the swiveling arm. When everything is in position as described, the intensive germ reduction can be started. At completion of the intensive germ reduction process, all of the instrument and suction hoses can be returned to the dentist's and assistance unit. So, this was a short introduction about the most important features of the CAVO Simulation Unit DSA Clinical E50 Live. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.